the short answer, yes, you do. And actually, it's the best idea to learn C sharp before you learn Unity. But there is a catch. And I'm going to explain why learning C sharp before Unity is the best idea. But also, I'm going to explain why it might not be the best idea. Please watch this video till the end and I'm going to explain why. And if you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do it because I'm going to share some of the best content out there for Unity developers. While I do agree that learning C Sharp before Unity is the best way, it's not the most enjoyable way. The biggest reason why uh, beginner developers give up on programming is because programming by itself is not fun. You probably want to become a game developer because you want to build games and not because you like programming, not necessarily, and you don't learn C Sharp because you love it. You learn it because you can build games with it. And now let's say you spent months learning C Sharp on its own without Unity, there is a high chance that you would get bored and give up. And if you started with C Sharp in Unity, immediately you could see some results. So let's say you build some character that runs around the scene and you could shoot and kill enemies. That would be more fun than uh, having some uh, C-sharp console application, which is very boring if you didn't try, but you will know what I mean by that. To become a good Unity developer, you have to become a strong programmer first. Unity does provide you with all these tools that help you build games, but what if there is no tool for something that you want to create or it's not available on the asset store or it's not an open source project on GitHub, then what do you do then? Uh, you have to build it yourself. Maybe you have an idea of your unique inventory that nobody built before. How are you going to do that? Uh, the only way is to learn C sharp. And by learning C sharp, you will reduce dependency on using tools that other developers created. And also it will uh, reduce your uh, dependency on watching too many YouTube tutorials. And you never wanna be stuck in this uh, tutorial hell forever. At some point you want to start creating things on your own without anyone's assistance. And that's a good reason to learn C Sharp before Unity. And by learning C Sharp, you're gonna understand these uh, programming fundamentals like variables, classes, methods, etc. And you're gonna have much easier time to uh, apply all these uh, inbuilt components that are provided by Unity. And let's use uh, a rigid body, for example. And you want to apply it to your game and you go to Unity documentation and that documentation will provide you with uh, these exposed uh, methods and properties and fields and you're not gonna know what to do with that because you don't know what a method is so learn C Sharp first. Also you might get bored of game development. As we grow, we change. And so that might happen to you. And at some age, you just not wanna build games anymore. And a good uh, thing about C Sharp is that it is used beyond video games. And everything that you learn is transferable uh, to other uh, platforms. So that's a good advantage of learning C Sharp. There are no advantages to learning Unity before you learn C Sharp. And the reason for that is because 
when you do that, it's going to give you this uh, fake confidence and you're going to feel like you are making some progress, but in the long run, it's going to hurt you. I was in that situation myself and I'm talking from experience. Uh, you are going to learn every component, ins and outs, but that's not going to make you a programmer. You're not going to be a programmer by knowing how a tile map editor works in Unity. The only time I would uh, recommend somebody to learn Unity before C Sharp is if you are an artist, designer, audio engineer, or something like that, and you are working with other programmers and you are just using the tools and you are not doing programming, programming, and in that case, it's completely fine. I myself, I learned Unity before C Sharp, and I would not recommend that to anybody. I see so many new developers doing this and it's so wrong. Do not do it. Just watch my video and I will give you more uh, reasons why not to do it. And also I will provide you with a better ways to learn. Back in 2015, when I started learning Unity, I only learned from YouTube tutorials. I learned myself C Sharp the hard way. Those tutorials didn't teach me anything. Uh, I would just memorize patterns and if I forgot something, I would return back to the video and watch it again. I didn't develop this programmer critical thinking and I was not able to create anything without somebody assisting me. If no tutorial was available on YouTube for a specific feature, then I would not be able to build it myself. And I'm sure there are so many of you just like myself. And that's exactly why I created this channel. Uh, I want to teach you uh, C Sharp, uh, Fundamentals, Programming in general, and Unity. Uh, there are going to be three categories on my channel and I'm going to focus teaching you C Sharp and Unity at the same time. The first category is Learn C Sharp with Unity. So in this category I will teach you C Sharp uh, basics data structures, algorithms, and design patterns. And everything that we learn, there's a reason. And I'm going to tell you about all use cases of everything that we learn here. And the second category is Unity Practical Application. So everything that we learned in the first category, we are going to apply it in this category. Let's say we learned about three data structures in the first category. Now we want to apply it somewhere. If we do not do it, then uh, everything in the first category is going to be useless to us because we don't know where we're going to use it. And that's the biggest problem with all these other YouTube channels. They talk about some specific programming concept, but you don't know what exactly to do with that. So that's what the second category is going to be for. The third category is general programming and Unity topics. So everything that is not code related belongs to this category. And this video right now belongs to this category. Here I'm just going to build these uh, videos where I talk about some general topic or something going on in the world of uh, game development or programming or anything like that but is not necessarily a programming tutorial so the final conclusion is it's the best to learn c sharp and unity at the same time learning c sharp before unity is ideal but that doesn't mean that you will persist long enough to become a competent programmer and if you want to go with that option you are completely free to do so no worries and if you're not sure how you're gonna learn c sharp and unity at the same time well, then just subscribe to my YouTube channel because my channel is going to be all about that. Other YouTube channels might teach you how to build like a basic player controller where you can move right and left or how to jump or how to receive damage 
from a projectile but my channel will teach you how to become a programmer and you are gonna be able to build just anything you're not gonna need to watch some tutorial on some specific topic like you can come up with your own stuff so this is it guys see you in the next video and bye